Hello everyone, I am very pleased to share with you the roadmap for Vietnam's BIM standards and this application as well as the use of TLD model in a project in Vietnam. Agenda First item, BIM application roadmap in public infrastructure projects in Vietnam. Second item, BIM human resource training roadmap for university and authorities. The last the, the last item, TLD model applied to metro lines, to stations, and the use of train mesh. In 2020, Vietnam Ministry of Construction an analysis a beam standard for the infrastructure sector. Many infrastructure projects in Vietnam are now adopting the standards. This present, I will review how beam and Terry model are being applied in the Ho Chi Minh City metro line to number two project, the underground infrastructure project feature 11 station and theory model was used to model utility and borrow hash model and attribute were expected to other program via IFC. I would like to introduce myself. I am from Vietnam. I am a lecturer in urban planning and engineering department of the University of Architecture Ho Chi Minh City. My experience include more than five years experience in the field of beam technology for infrastructure. And I was the infrastructure team leader for Vietnamese companies, Vietnam Beam Construction and Design Consulting, and Icon Engineering and Technology Construction Company Limited, and multinational company Manhau in Vietnam. I would like to share with you the BIM Apply Roadmap for Public Infrastructure in Vietnam, DR4 phase. Phase number one in 2020. Release the first BIM standard which contain a common data environment, BIM project implementation steps detail regulation on LOD and LOI for infrastructure projects but not for all items. Phase number two in 2023, release a new version with a comprehensive set of infrastructure or infrastructure items. Phase three in 2025, in addition to private projects that voluntarily apply the BIM standard projects under the management of the construction ministry will apply the standards to at least 10% the total project managed by the ministry, the ministry five, uh, four, five number four in 2030, apply the BIM standard to at least 20% for all projects managed by the ministry. The second item I would like to share with you is the BIM Human Resource Training Roadmap for University and various authority the R3 phase. Phase number one from 2020 to 2030 raises staff awareness of the benefits of the digital transformation. This will include build the skill and the knowledge to operate a government system from the MOC for complex reporting. Phase two from 2022 to 2025, university under 
the umbrella of the MOC will develop training program associated with technology such BIM, GIS, and RI digital content. Phase 3 from 2026 to 2030, personnel in the construction industry and university will be required to achieve a ascendant level of proficiency for, to participate in digital transform, transformation of the infrastructure sector. The third item I would like to share with you how Telemodo was yielding the design of station in the Metro Light 2 projects. There are a total of 11 stations, 10 ground stations, and one above ground station. It is one of the pilot projects for application of the BIM in the Ho Chi Minh City. The project is currently in the design stage HCMBEC, Bower Engineering Consultant Company, is in responsible for power, lighting, and telecom. The expected investment for projects is to 3.0 million USD construction yield commercial in early 2022. This lays out a typical plan for station number four. The documents are primarily 2D cash and take annotation. As presented, it is, is difficult to visualize and appreciate the information for all in the individual systems such as underground power telecom and power heads. It is impossible to control a clash between the utility items. This is not unique to station number four. It is the same degree of complexity for all 11 stations of the metro line. To be able to work efficiently, it is necessary to have a 3D model that contains information about the property of the objects. This lay this slide shows a typical cross-section of Station 4 with underground line, power head, and telecom. There are 9 lines of 110 kV power underground and 12 lines of telecom. A 1 meter back descending wall will separate the two systems. In addition to that, there are also several underground utility such as water, storm water, and forward water. HCMBECC takes E to generate to 3D model for the 110 kV underground power and telecom lines and the partitioning world. The 3D model shown was created from Terry model using the trimesh function. The orange model is the telecom, and the yellow model is the 110 kV underground power. This is clearly much easier to visualize and understand than with two cast drawings. For next step, for next step, we generated substation and cabinets. The last image shows the substation on site. The right image shows the cabinet on site. And the cost and the corresponding equivalent 3D model, a trimesh function, were applied to comply with standard beam at the LOD 300 to LOD 4. 100 level of project. The trimet function was applied to generate three model for the bow head and a support for the conduit at the LOD 300 to LOD 400 level project. The left image description an image for bow head on site and the right image so on the support conduit on site. And the 
cross bonding equivalent three models. For the next step, the LOI four string were developed at LOI four hundred typical applic apply eight attribute of information for the for the one hundred ten kilovolt line and exported the IFC file to coordinate with other consultant. Apply this information to stream and review the attribute information before exporting the IFC file. The only problem the the only problem we encountered was that is the field was displayed with Vietnamese character sets. The IFC will have a fun a font error. In this final step, the design with various model were exported an IFC file, which be which became the basis for coordinating with the other consultant and for submission to project owner. And in this slide, I would like to share an example for of example of the LED level for manhole for storm water and storm water from Vietnam's beam standards. The standard also specifies the development level of OLI. However, the standard does not call the electrical items. So when applied in the beam standard for the metro stations, we use the LOD for manhole to develop the OLD for electrical items. Lastly, I have a training trainees engineering on how to apply three model to land development project in Vietnam. The slide shows the Ngoc Thuc Villa land development project in Vũng Tàu, southeast of Ho Chi Minh City. And thank you for your attention. I will be happy to entertain your questions.